This is a, a, a very difficult and tricky question to answer. Uh, of course, uh, this is a very important trial. And, uh, this trial tested the use of uh, maintenance Devalumab uh, versus placebo for one year after the use of uh, platinum-based chemoradiotherapy for stage 3 lung cancer patients. And, yeah, this is a very important uh, trial. These cancer patients uh, really needed a good treatment. Uh, and this trial has given us positive results in, case, uh, in terms of progression for survival. Uh, and the positive results, the difference in progression for survival is uh, quite substantial. There is, a, there is a big improvement in progression for, progression for survival with very attractive hazard ratio. So everyone is excited about it, uh, obviously. And this is right about uh, Pacific trial to answer your question. But now going about not exactly wrong, but some caveats or things to keep in mind about this trial is that you know, lung cancer patients, uh, stage three, uh, until now if we see the other trials that have happened in this setting, all of them have used OS as the primary endpoint. And depending on OS, we, we determine whether a trial is positive or negative because these are not uh, the patients who are receiving long, long lines of treatment and having many treatment options so that OS is confounded. No, these are uh, patients that in lung cancer, especially OS should always be the primary endpoint because it has got uh, very uh, bad prognosis, number one. Number two, in case of maintenance therapy, especially, uh, maintenance therapy means, uh, you know, until now we are not giving these patients any drug. Uh, they used to uh, be uh, on holiday from drug, uh, but now we are essentially asking these patients who would otherwise did, would not have taken any drug at all, we are asking them to take one year of uh, immunotherapy and with its uh, side effects, uh, which was uh, pretty low in this trial, uh, to be honest, but uh, with its cost and the burden of taking drug for one year, it's a, it's a huge burden for the patient. So. Why does the patient take that drug? Because he believes, he or she believes that by taking the drug, uh, he or she can live longer. Uh, that's the ultimate aim. Uh, but uh, the, the caveat is we don't know the answer to that question yet. We do not have overall survival data yet, so we do not know uh, whether exactly they will live longer or not. But given the margin of benefit uh, in PFS and given the uh, very attractive hazard ratio, uh, most of us in oncology community believe that it will translate to uh, OS benefit. It will uh, lead to improvement in overall survival. So if it's going to improve survival later, then it's a good thing to start using the drug immediately because until then there will be many patients uh, who not receive the drug. Mm, that is uh, one line of thinking. But we have many examples in oncology where the hazard ratio was extremely attractive very good benefit in PFS but it did not ultimately translate to benefit in OS and this is especially important in this trial because we do not know the data yet regarding how many patients in the placebo arm uh, received immunotherapy when they relapsed because now the standard of care for relapsed uh, for stage 4 uh, lung cancer is first line pembrolizumab uh, so we, we can use immunotherapy when the patient relapses uh, so we need to know how many of these patients in the placebo group received uh, immune therapy when they, when they progressed. Uh, and if, uh, this is an important question because uh, if you don't take maintenance Dervalumab, you take uh, nothing or placebo and when you relapse you receive immunotherapy and then you have the same survival, then why take it uh, early? Uh, because some of uh, a very few patients uh, might not relapse uh, and some patients will relapse after a certain time, after a long time. So why take it immediately? Uh, because when uh, the patient's threshold for toxicity and their desire to, to take the drug will also be uh, much different when they have progressed. Uh, so we need to know whether using uh, immunotherapy after progression or upon relapse and using immunotherapy as maintenance, as as was done in in Pacific trial, uh, whether it's uh, whether it makes some difference in survival, that is a very important question to answer. And of course, I am also hopeful that uh, this amount of benefit will translate to uh, might translate to benefit in OS. We should be hopeful, but um, we we needed OS data. Uh, we needed. Uh, at least interim OS data, absolutely no OS data has been reported yet. Uh, so we need to be very cautious uh, and we need to 
have a very informed decision making with the patient. We need to tell them that uh, yes, this has improved progression free survival uh, very well, but we do not know the answer to your question that whether you live longer or not as a result. And we also do not know if you will take pembrolizumab after upon relapse or nivolumab after relapse, whether it would be any different to taking nivolumab right away.